what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Boosie was recently on Vlad TV and he made a confession. He said that he regrets having made babies with six different women. Good God, six women. Listen up kids, and I'm not trying to be funny at all, but I really want you guys to listen up to this. This is very important that you hear what I have to say. Any of you out there that's thinking about having babies, or maybe you've already had a baby with one woman, or maybe even two, Pump your brakes as soon as possible. Listen to what I'm about to say. Perhaps you can save yourself a whole lot of drama. For those of you who have already went there, pump your brakes. It ain't over till it's over. You can always start to improve. When you know better, you do better. Boosie said that he was drinking, smoking, popping pills, just wilding out, running up and everything wrong. And he said, thankfully for him, that the women that he was with wasn't just ratchet. He said all of his baby mothers are good mothers. He says that he has never missed a child support payment in 12 years. But yet, one of these good baby mothers went to the state and got the attorney general to file a lawsuit against him after he was just one day late on his child support payment. So he said, look, these women that do stuff like that, they don't know how much pain that they put their children through. You know, it's not just about him. He's like, man, my daughter's smart. She can read and she got an iPhone. She can read this stuff they're saying about her daddy. And so can his other kids. They're like, you know, why isn't such 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 not here? And he said, Every, everything is on him. Everybody's looking at him. And, you know, he talked about how his kids barely wear the same clothes. They got so much stuff and he give them so much that child support shouldn't even be for a person like him. But he said, nevertheless, he go through the lawyers and he go through the courts and he do all of that stuff. And he still get handled. Vlad brought up something very important. He said he was having a conversation with Earthquake and Earthquake told him that what will happen is you have a baby with a woman and y'all can have everything worked out. Y'all can be cool and you're paying for the school and giving her cash on the side and everything. And then one day she files on you and next thing you know, you owe $30,000 and you got to pay it. So you know how that go. In many cases, child support is a broke chick hustle. Now, the women who are out here taking care of these kids by themselves deserve the world of credit. However, they're not meant to do it alone. There are men out here who abuse the system also. In fact, they would straight up deny and circumvent their responsibility as a father. They won't do nothing to help their children. These type of dudes need some type of intervention because obviously they're not capable of doing it by themselves. But for the ones who are, the ones who really be putting the work in, that'll go out of the way to take care of their babies, I know a lot of dudes who do stuff outside of the child support order. I mean, they they pay for their children's apartment, you know, pay for college tuitions 
you know, on top of like, like when the kids are past the age of, of what they consider to be a juvenile or whatever, they give, get their kids all kinds of gifts and stuff like that and, and cash and, and the mother will still try to use the child as a pawn to make the dad, to make the daddy's life miserable going back to court, trying to get more money. She already getting, hitting them up for the limit, but she trying to bust them at the seams just to make his life miserable because her life is miserable. So those type of women definitely need to be called out. To those women out there that's holding it down, you guys definitely need to be saluted. It's a lot of you out there, but it's also a lot of cats out there that ain't taking care of their business. For the ones who are, salute, 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 salute. But this is one of those shoe fit wear type circumstances. And this is why it's important for dudes to try their best to limit their attachment to baby mamas. Like I'm talking about, when I say attachment, I mean multiple baby mamas like, yeah, just dealing with one, just having that one relationship is already complex. Then when you add another, then another, then another, and where do you find time to actually give your children what they need, the coaching, the teaching, the, the quality time, the quality parent-child time? Where do you find that at? Even if you got your own kids living under your roof, it's already hard to give those kids exactly what they need when oftentimes you're just out there trying to earn a living and you're putting in, you know, uh, eight, nine, ten hours a day on the job. Come home, hell, you tired, you got a couple hours, and then bam, you trying to sleep and you right back up at it again the next day. You know, it's already tough. So imagine if you got kids in multiple homes. Man, that is a tough play right there. So there you have it. I know a lot of people from the streets look up to Boosie. They're always riding and uh, bragging about his videos and stuff like that. Well, he telling you straight up that, yeah, uh, you know, just because I did it, don't mean that you have to do it. And I did it. And I wish that I could do it all over again, because if I could, I limit it to one woman, one baby mother. This is not just about money and child support. This is about the inability to spend quality time with the children you bring into the world because they're living with different people. They're living under a different roof. If you see Boosie's face in that clip, you'll see the pain on his face and you'd understand what I'm talking about. No more talk. What the talking about?